Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to check your 18650 cells if they're fake or not. Today I have two cells which I'm gonna put to the test that are coming from two different places. From my right side, I have a cell purchased on AliExpress basically coming from China, which is the Panasonic NCR 18650B, which has a maximum capacity of 3,400 milliamps hours. From my left side, I have a cell purchased here locally in Germany from a German online store, which is the LG GBMJ1 18650. The difference between those two cells is the price, which is significant. Uh, the price of the Panasonic one purchased on AliExpress is 2.4 US dollars, which is 2.2 euros. And the cell purchased in Germany, the LG one, costs around 4 US dollars, which is 3.7 euros. The difference in pricing is huge. That is the reason why most of us building projects like e-bike batteries are purchasing ourselves from China. But we can't really be sure if what you're purchasing is what you're getting. So today we're going to put them to the test and I'm going to show you how you can do it on your own. Let's get started. First thing that we're going to test is the voltage of the cells they're coming with. A responsible seller should ship the cells with a nominal voltage, which is between 3.6 and 3.7 volts. This is highly important if you want to have a healthy cell. Uh, so let's check. Uh, we're going to check it with a multimeter and we're going to check the Panasonic one first. Which is 3.78, which is not bad, which is okay, it's in the range, but ideally it should be between 3.6 and 3.7 volts. So let's check the LG one that is coming from a German seller in Germany. It's 3.6 volts, which is the nominal voltage of this battery, which is good. So next thing we're gonna do is charge the batteries before we do the discharge. We would like them to be with the full capacity before we can do the test. So let me just grab my charger. So next step is to charge the battery to the maximum capacity before we do the discharge test. I'm charging my cells with a current of one amp. Uh, you can charge them more if you wish. I would not suggest going more than 2.5 amps. So next step, which you can do to check your batteries, if they're fake or not, is to check their internal resistance. It should be below 55, 60 milliohms if they're in their nominal voltage. So my device is letting me check my internal resistance, which is for the LG cell 41, which is a good number you want to see. A fake battery, a fake cell uh, charge, the nominal voltage would probably show more than 70, 100 uh, milliohms for the internal resistance. Let's check the Panasonic one and it's showing it has a 38 milliohms internal resistance, which for now they're pointing to a being original. Uh, another thing we can check is the weight of the cells, which I would not say it's something you need to do because lately all of the cells are having the exact uh, weight they would supposed to have, adding weight to ma make them appear original. So that test would probably work before, but not anymore. So we're gonna wait until these cells are charged before we can do the discharge test. So because I did set it to two amps, I expect the cell to be discharged in one hour, 40 minutes. So it's a good thing to know because you, you don't have to go and check your cell every half an hour or every hour. So if you set the amper that you want for the discharge, you can calculate the time, except if the cell itself is fake and has a less capacity, that means the discharge time would be way less. So, so here you can see you have the reading of the capacity, the, the end 
uh, the end milliampere hours. So which this is the thing we're gonna check to see the capacity of the battery and the uh, elapsed time. So I'm gonna leave this here uh, on a time lapse. So I'm gonna come back when this is done and we can check the results. The discharge test is over, so let's check the results. As you can see, just a second, it went a bit under 2.5 volts, uh, but as you can see, the capacity is 3600 milliamps hours. So I would say it would be around 3550 if this wouldn't go over under 2.5 volts. As you can see, the produced watt hours are 10,000, which is good. You should probably expect always to be above 10. Uh, if you're discharging it with two amps, it might be around 10. And if you're discharging it with half an amp, usually uh, it should be closer to 11,000 watt hours. So you can see the time elapsed is almost two hours, which if I was taking notice on the voltage would probably be around 140, 145. So this was the Panasonic cell uh, purchased from AliExpress. Now we're gonna put the LG one and put it to the test. So let's first remove the cell. It's kind of tricky. Remove. The OG battery, let's set it up and let's just reset this. We need to hold it for a few seconds and let's set it to 10 amps. And we'll come back after this is done and compare the result. Okay, it's perfect. we're gonna leave it as it is. So the Panasonic cell, it appears to be original. I have done a few more tests with a few more cells, uh, roughly around seven cells. All of them are getting the same range, the same maximum capacity of around 3,300 to 3,500, 600 milliamps hours, which is something I was hoping I will get because I ordered 50 of them for my e-bike project. Anyway, uh, let's see the discharge test of the LG and compare the results. I'm expecting this to be much more because by default this, this cell has 100 milliamps hours more capacity than the Panasonic one. So we'll get back to it after it's done. The discharge test of the LG battery is done. Let's take a closer look of the results and decide if the cell is original or not. So let's start with the voltage first. You can see the voltage here is 2.7 volts, which means the cell wasn't discharged completely, which is true. In this case, I had to stop the, the discharge before it was done. But anyhow, the results are good, so it didn't make any sense to continue. So you have to keep in mind when you're using this kind of a device and you're doing the discharge test, the cutoff of the battery is uh, 2.5 volts, but here you're gonna see the voltage dropping low below 1.78 volts, which is normal because the battery is under load, but it will cut off, it will stop when it reaches its own 
volt. So next we're gonna check the capacity. The capacity here is 3600 milliamps hours, which is 100 milliamps hours more than the maximum rated capacity, which is not something that is unusual. A usually good cell would probably have more capacity than the maximum rated one, but it's not something that you're gonna see it in every cell. So here the produced watt hours is more than 10,000 watt hours which is great to see. Usually if you're doing your discharge test with less than one amp, you would probably see the, the watt hours closer to 11, 12 thousands. But if, you, if it's always under 10,000, it's, it's good. So you can see the time elapsed is, is less than two hours, which is fine. So when you're checking a fake cell, usually you will see a different result here. Uh, usually the capacity would probably be under 3100 or if it's really a fake fake one, a terrible fake one, the capacity would probably be, be around less than 2000 milliamps hours and it would be a clear indicator of being a fake. Also the watt hours would probably be closer around six to eight thousand watt hours and the time would probably be under one hour if you're doing the same test here. So this kind of a device is kind of handy if you want to check your cells. Uh, I would not recommend checking every cell if you have 50. What I'm doing is I have a, I will show you the package. My cells are uh, packed in like a four pack. I'm checking each cell in a each package so i don't have to really stress all of my 50 or 60 cells uh, what you want to do afterwards is charge them make sure you charge all of them to the same voltage if you're building an e-bike battery or a pack you would like them to be the same voltage when you're putting them together so the I hope this will show you how you can do your tests and be sure if you're buying a fake or not. In my case, the cells I purchased from AliExpress appears to be original. I have tested more than seven, as I mentioned. They all have the more or less the same results, which I'm really happy with. So I don't have to buy the expensive one here from Germany. So the important thing you want to check when doing your test is checking the internal resistance, which you can't fake that. Uh, it should be below 50 when the battery is not stressed and it's in its nominal capacity. Second thing you can check is the, the capacity in the discharge, the, the milliamp hours this is something you can't fake so this is the two indicators of a battery uh, you can always check the physical appearance of the battery the weight the voltage that is coming with but that's not a clear indicator of a cell being fake or not it's just something you can keep in mind so please do subscribe and like my video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will try to respond and help you out. Uh, I will probably do a review on this little bit of this little device, which costs around 10 US dollars on AliExpress, which is kind of handy if you have projects like I do. So yeah, thanks.